In this part of the video, we're going to show you what's involved in installing the panels on the roof. Okay, look, we've put the brackets on the roof here. Uh, the reason we do that, obviously we've got to put railing on there and then the panels go on top of that. But with the brackets, basically what we do is we lift the tiles out of the way, we find beams and we, we screw straight into the beams. We put a minimum of two screws in each bracket, put one bracket per panel plus one extra. So if we've got eight panels in a row, we'll have nine brackets in there. There's no issues with them flying off the roof or anything like that. There's no, no problems with water leaking through into the, into the roof. The uh, brackets stick out from underneath the tiles and the water runs straight past them. Okay, look, we've picked this roof uh, to put the panels on because of the direction where we are, we want to try and have a north facing roof as much as possible. As you can see, the area we're at at the moment, and it's early in the day, and there's, there's no shade where we're putting them at the moment. So this is an ideal spot for us. We've got a nice uh, angle on the roof, so um, we should get pretty close to maximum efficiency out of these panels where we are. The panels, we, we do mount them up off, off the roof itself. We'll get 100 mil, maybe a bit more underneath, a bit of airflow. The cooler we keep those panels, they are a bit more efficient that way. Okay, the special clips that we've got, we've got mid clamps and end clamps. Uh, they're specially designed to go with this rail. There's 15 panels on this job. It's a uh, 3.23 kilowatt system. Okay, well the panels themselves are pre-wired. They come pre-wired manufactured with clips on them with the plugs on them, the safe, the plugs and that and you've got a positive and a negative and basically we run the first positive to the next negative and so on all the way along in a, in a series and then at the end we do our terminations underneath the final panel and then we run the cables back to the inverter from there. 